kids. So by now, you should know me kind of personally, uh, how I just, I splurge and do things. Just, just happen. I told you this was my year. Now for that to happen, I had to change what I wanted my year to be. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, um, I was wanted to buy like a dream car and I thought I had the means to do it. The more I looked into it with the couldn't, I couldn't. Okay. So I just changed the dream. Okay. Another dream car. I just changed it. Okay, you can do that. You're allowed to do whatever you want. If you want, it, you want a different, you can just do it. You know that? Yeah, it's my world. I bought a car. Okay, it's not here. It's not even close to here. I'm not. I just, I bought it, and I've never even looked at it. I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that. So not in this episode. Not in the next episode, but the episode after that, I'm going to be flying to Connecticut. Unfortunately, that starts with me flying from State College to Philly, from Philly to Charlotte, then from Charlotte to Connecticut. Could have drove seven hours to get to this place. But I'm going alone. I'm flying there, and I'm driving this dream car home, okay? And you guys are going to get to see it. It's bright. I'm going to put it that way. Well, that's all I'm going to tell you. It's bright. And, uh, yeah. And then that after that weekend, we go to Tennessee. And I haven't decided if we're taking this car yet or if we're taking the Murano. The Murano would be the logical thing. But this would be the, the, this would be the cool thing to do. You know? Yeah. It's probably not a good idea. So that's going to happen. I'm excited for it. Uh, like I said, change the dream. Just, you know, make it reasonable. This is, I can, this was very reasonable. This was half of what my dream was. And it's newer and it has less miles than any of the dream cars I wanted to get. So stay tuned for that because that's coming. I want, I want to finish this today. I don't know if it's going to happen today. It might be tomorrow too. But I want to finish this today. Paint job. I'm okay with it. The bumper looks good. The hood has a little orange peel. And uh, the, the rest of it looks pretty good. It turned out pretty good. I'm going to have to polish a little bit to make it look a little bit better. But the orange peel on the hood, eh, I don't, I'm not happy with that. I, I've, I don't know if I've ever sprayed a hood perfect. It's a big surface. I try. Anyways, the full bumper is together. Um, I have to wire the plug in for the fog light. The wires are here. The plug is on the fog light itself. And I got a wiring kit so I can, I can do all that now. Like I can put the, the, the connectors on. I got the crimpers and all that stuff so we can do it right. Because after this, okay, we, I got another video. I'm, I know. I've been doing a lot of CVT services, but I want to fully service the, the white Murano. So next, we're going to uh, drop the pan on that and put filters in it and, and new fluid. That's all I'm doing on that. Oh, and uh, I got a, a belt and a tensioner. There's a noise. It's been there since I bought it, but it's weird. I don't know. I, it has to be an accessory on the front. Sounds like an engine knock. It's not a knock. It's just it's one of the accessories on the front. So I'm... I'm starting with a tensioner and a new belt, and we're going to check everything while I'm in there. But the thing runs fine. Then we get my dream car. Then we go to Tennessee. Then we're focusing on this. I have not bought anything at the auction. I, I Now, needless, I've been looking, but I, I don't have any plans of buying anything. So I want to finish this truck because I want it out of here because I'm going to have cars that I would like to keep in the garage, like wintertime or a, gar a car. We need to get it done, whether I sell it right away or not. It's, that's another thing. This thing might have to sit for God knows how long till somebody wants that truck. But anyway, let's get back to this and get this together. Also, I'm sick. I don't know if you noticed, I'm a little nasally. It's not sick where I'm down and out. I want to get this done. So we're, we're doing that. So, all right. <laughs>
How do you not even? Oh. How do I? You know I have hearing loss in this area. Uh, but you should have felt it. It's vibrating. I didn't feel it. Oh my lord. <laughs> Not too bad. Would have been a lot not as bad if I didn't put scratches on that fresh paint. Yeah, I'm not the most careful when it comes to putting these things back together and clipping the bumpers in and stuff. Wasn't paying attention. That got underneath and it put some scratches over there. I polished them. It's not as noticeable. Also, put scratches on the front of the bumper when I set it on the ground and it rubbed the rack that I had it on. So I polished those too. Those, you, you don't really see those at all. So that's at least a plus there. Everything fit up pretty good. I'm actually honestly happy with that because this whole front end was way out of whack. So that's that's a plus. Some of these push pins on these bumpers, I recommend not putting the grill on to put it on the car. There's, there's two of them and it. It really is detrimental to how well this bumper fits. Um, there's a bracket right in here and a bracket right over there that the bumper goes back on you put a push pin down through them you cannot get to those with the grill one I mean you can it was hard I did it this one I was still in the bumper and I got in there and pushed it in that one over there I had to take push pins out of the top plate to get my hand down in there to get to it it's really hard to do so when you do go to assemble these leave the grill off mount the bumper then clip the bumper in. It's just a suggestion, but I'd say it's a lot easier. Also, you've seen my expert wiring. Like, I just clipped right to the part where I was putting a new plug on and stuff. Yeah. I couldn't get the pins out of the old plug. Um, that's one thing I do. I hoard wiring harnesses and stuff from other vehicles, especially like headlight plugs and stuff like that. You never know when you're going to need them. Ended up needing a, a different plug because I couldn't get the pins out. Found one that clipped into the fog light perfect. It's the right plug. Uh, looks a little bit different than what's on this vehicle, but it works with that fog light. So I just cut the wires on that, spliced them in. A lot simpler than trying to take that connector apart and then redoing it on the wires and everything. So yeah, that's that's just a, another thing that I look. No little thing I like to do. This side looks mostly complete because I had the. Uh, the fender trim on there so I clipped it into the bumper we'll have to there's bolts and stuff to secure that this side I have to go get the fender it's inside the car um, it'll the front one will clip on fairly easy the back one's gonna be a pain I know it is because it's an aftermarket one let's just try to go clip it on now and see how it fits because I know it isn't gonna fit great so I gotta put a bolt in the bumper first and then, and then we'll try to fit it Alright, so I'm I'm starting to drag. It's the, the cold, whatever. So I'm done out here for today. I'll come back tomorrow. I, I want to put this thing up in the air to do that. I'm sick of bending over. My back ain't made for that. Neither is my knees. But anyways, after we get the, the underside done and those flares, I already put the tail light in. 
Um, it's just clean, and, and then I already cleaned the adhesive off this fender and then did a little bit of a polish, which needs a little bit more of a polish because I can definitely see those scratches really, really bad. Anyways, so we'll do that and then um, get this thing out, clean it up, get it out of here, get it out. All right, so I'm glad I got <clears throat> most of my talking in yesterday because I woke up with no voice this morning. It's coming back a little bit, but I'm um, still under the weather don't feel that great i'm putting this thing up on the lift so i can put the rest of these screws in these fenders and stuff you guys don't need to watch that it's honestly <clears throat> there's some screws some push pins in the fenders under the bumper i already hooked the fog lights up they work um let me get this all back together <clears throat> and then try to get outside and wash it i don't know if i'm gonna wash it today or not i feel i'm telling you if you I feel good. I feel good. I sound good. Yeah. I'm not doing anything spectacular for the end of this. It is what it is. Ta-da. <coughs> I hope I didn't get any of that on you. <laughs> yeah. All right, you're not getting some. <coughs> you're not. You're not getting some fancy <coughs> wash. What is going on? And my camera don't even want to look at me. You're not getting some fancy wash video. You're just. It's not gonna happen. So, it's, I'm taking it out, washing it, and then we'll take it out on the road. I'll bring the white one in here too. So, yeah, that's the next fun video you'll get. Me working on that. Sick. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. This one is good enough. Okay. Let's, let's go for a little ride. <clears throat> yeah. Alright. Oh, I do have floor mats for this thing. They're in the back. Oh, this is very nice. Nice place to be sitting. So, just because it's painted and it's washed doesn't mean that this is complete. I have no clue. I haven't driven this thing to tell you if there's any problems with it so that's what we're gonna do right now make sure we don't have any problems so first off we're good oh let me put my seatbelt on so we don't have to look at that all right so now we're well we're not out of town yet mexico uh what what town is this enchilada we're not out of it yet well, we just, we're, we're still driving through town but so far, so good. Pretty smooth. Everything's good. Of course, I replaced everything, so it should be. I do still need to clean the junk out of the back. The The back mat is back there. There's a busted headlight and a good headlight, I believe. And then there's some other junk back there. It just needs to get cleaned up. Like I said, I think the floor mats are back there. So, um, but anyways, yeah. Oh, shoot. We just got to check engine light. Just gotta check engine light.
Now, it runs and drives fine, and I have not, I did not bring my code reader with me, so it's fine. We're going to keep going. Might be an O2 sensor or something stupid. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. Or maybe I didn't plug something in, you know. I had it, the, the top end part, so we'll see what that's about. Another thing that it could be is that exhaust underneath was smashed, I think, from the forklift. It could be partially plugged, which would uh, make the O2 sensor read funky, so it could be that. One good thing is the CVT is CVTing, so that's good. I'm happy for that. I don't, I don't want to see a code for that. It can just stay away. But it seems to be running and driving just fine. That's why I'm thinking O2 sensor. Something stupid. Vacuum leak, evap leak. Something small. It's not misfiring. It's not sluggish. It's it's actually pretty good. And I'll, I'll get on it up here so we can see uh, how it does. But right now, averaging 24 mile per gallon. That's normal. Actually, could be a little bit low but it might go up as we drive. I don't know yet. I feel like it is a little low. And it could be bad gas or, um, yeah, I'm just speculating a bunch of stuff here. Could be bad gas or it could be um, O2 sensor, which it might be dumping too much fuel in. So that's, that's another thing it could be. It's a beautiful day in Mexico. There's not really anybody around, so I'm going to slow down here. Not from a dead stop, but I'll get on it right here, 20 mile an hour. Works good. Works real good, actually. That was, that was good. I haven't got on mine like that in, in a long time. So... So, it might have been the Marvel Mist Oil. It could be just water. But this thing had, must have had water and rust all through the exhaust. And when I got on it, it blew rust. The whole back of this thing is covered in rust now that I just washed it. Which makes me really happy. That could also be why the check engine light's on. <laughs> could have, it could have had the exhaust partially plugged. Or... Um, it could have gummed up the O2 sensors. So here we are. Uh, more. Uh, I'm not doing another video on this. If it's just an O2 sensor, whatever it is, you you understand. I'm I'm just gonna put one in it. It's gonna be no big deal. Well, let's let's get home. I'm gonna run it through the car wash. I'm gonna get home. I'm gonna see uh, what I can find on this thing. All right. So I have three codes. Two of them are pass. Um, oxygen sensor heated oxygen sensor so bank one sensor two sensor two bank one the same oxygen sensor it might be unplugged but there it's past so that means it's not present the other one is thermostat but it says trouble code status is t1 which i don't know what that means so i'm gonna clear these out take another quick drive i really don't want to drive anymore i just kind of want to want to be home but whatever I don't know, maybe it just needs to run a little bit. Well, after another decent drive, uh, fresh fuel in it, I, I was seeing, okay, I, my gas mileage doesn't look good right now, but I was getting like 26, 27. That's more around the range what I get out of mine. Um, also, everything seems to be reading right. I'm still suspicious of the thermostat. I think it's running a little cold. I, but when I do put the heat on, heat blows out the vents, so I, I, I don't know. Probably just had wind blowing. I'm sorry if I just had wind noise all over the mic. Um, but yeah, I, I believe it, it might possibly need a thermostat, but my check engine light did not come back. So I'm thinking the water in the exhaust was a big contributor of that. I did get on it several times after I, I told, showed you the rust on the back and it did blow more out 
and I did it until it was blowing clear out the back. So there's no more water in the exhaust, laying in the exhaust. So it should be good now. But yeah, I, I guess that's it. That's all I got for you guys. So if you like this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing. That dislike button if your mom wants to get a sore throat from me. And we'll see you on the next episode. I'm right. Never seen a cat in my life that runs to the door like a dog when you come in. Except for this guy. What are you doing, Sully? No, he's a good boy. He likes to bite sometimes, but he's a good boy. Oh, he, he licked me. I got kisses this time. He must have missed me. And there is Stella. What are you doing, Stella? Huh? Oh, dog, she fell over. What are you doing? Stu man? What do you have to say? Hmm? Stewie. Yeah? Here, I'm looking all over for this big guy. Here he is. This guy cost us a lot of money last week, didn't you? Don't you clench your fists at me. He ate oh, a shopping bag, like a grocery bag. And then he threw it up. And then he threw up multiple times after that. And then he didn't eat for three days. We had to take him to the doctor and get the x-rays. He ended up getting better. He's doing good now. But yeah, tell the people. Say bye-bye. You want to tell them bye-bye? Hey, do you want to tell people bye? Sully. Hey. Do you want to say bye? No. You guys are snotty. Say bye. Boop.